Aquas! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from um, August 22nd. Don't know why. I, I actually saw 20th and that's what threw me. Uh, so maybe the 20th is actually, well actually that's today, isn't it? Shit, I don't even know the date today. No, I think today is the 20th. Today is the 20th. So today could actually be a very significant day for you. But anyway, August 22nd to the 31st. Uh, for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session and then I go ahead and get into the reading. So Aquas. Uh, meditating on your energy was very interesting. I actually heard black box. I know, black box. It just reminded me of airplanes. You know, like how they always have that black box and things are recorded just in case of like the awful crash. God forbid. Um, someone's ruminating, okay? Someone is like going over um, what has been said, specifically what's been said in, in the course of some kind of event or some kind of tower moment. I don't know why that crash felt very significant for some of you. Um, or just things that have happened between you and them. Keep in mind, guys, energy that I tap into for meditative sessions is energy in and around you. So it could be energy directly from you or someone you're connected to energetically or someone in your environment. Okay, so keep that in mind. But someone's definitely like ruminating over and over and over. It feels very Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords energy of the course of events, but specifically what's been said. And then I heard Eden. I know, I was like, oh, oh, okay, where is this going? Eden, uh, I feel like that was a very warm energy, actually, a very, very, very warm energy. Aqua is either you or someone you're connecting with is really thinking about like their Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, like what they really want, what's going to be their paradise, essentially, and who they want to share paradise with. And again, you could be considering this as well. I feel a lot of feminine energies that are feeling very, what's the word? It's kind of like a hermit energy, which would make sense because they're going into Virgo, um, a lot of Virgo energies, but it just feels very like at peace. I feel a lot of feminine energies are really at peace who are resonating with this or connected to this reading. Um, I'm also getting a sense of purity about that. Like, oh, I just heard ready. Oh, interesting. Ready. Pure and ready. I don't know what that's about. And then don't get too excited with what I'm about to say. I saw a ring. Uh, yellow gold specifically yellow gold and it had a pearl actually it was with well, a pearl was set in it which i thought was actually a very a white pearl if you, some of you, some of you guys, what color <laughs> a white pearl a white pearl so some of you could be dealing with the cancer or you could have cancer in your chart um cancer and energy could just be very significant for you or the sign of cancer it could be very significant rings in general are about promises and commitments and loyalties not necessarily engagements that's why I don't want you guys to get excited. But commitments could be at the center of all of this, of ruminating, ruminating over what's happened, the course of some events. It's about history. It's about history. And there's feminine energies who are very pure, very calm right now, a little hermity, like a little bit in hermit energy, but feels very good. And there's a sense of purity. And then I heard, like I said, ready. Now, here's the last thing that I thought was really fascinating. I was speaking of dragon energy. No, no. What's dragon energy? Dragon energy... <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, I know some of you are um, can see dragons and talk about dragons. So I feel like it's really pertaining to people um, who that that resonates with. But dragon energy, think of it as very protective. Think of it as almost like a guide in a way, um, like that kind of energy, because I actually feel like this is pertaining to a person. And I know I've had a reading before where I actually saw a dragon and it pertained to someone in that dragon energy. It is a very territorial energy. It's a protective energy. This dragon energy feels a little stirred up feels a little stirred up and very territorial, okay? Um, aquas, take that as it resonates because I don't think that's for everybody. And I am getting this like very stark difference, like differences in a connection between two people. Like one person is a little soft. I feel like it's the feminine feminine energy. I feel like this feminine energy is very, very soft. I, oh, I just saw an otter. Oh, that's so cute. I wonder if we're gonna get the otter card. Very soft, very sweet, very nurturing. And you know, honestly, I'm think I'm hearing cancer again. This feminine energy could like seriously have a lot of cancer in her chart or something could have happened um, uh, in cancer season. There's just something so motherly, nurturing, sweet about the feminine energy I'm picking up here. But it's like a stark difference to a masculine energy that's very abrasive, very aggressive. It has quite the, sh oh, that's fine. I was gonna say shell, but on the shield wanted to come out, shield shield why am i getting shield um deflected deflected whoever is resonating with this like pure ottery yummy cancerian feminine energy 
with this dragon-like masculine energy. I think there was some kind of weird deflection on the part of the masculine energy. I don't know what that's about. I've been picking this up for a lot of people, okay? A lot of people. Um, guys, also keep in mind, I was picking up on a little bit of envious energy as well, and we're just in that time right now. A lot of people are coming into some amazing things, a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness, a lot of stability. People have worked really hard, and they're finally reaping the, the benefits of their hard labor leaving some other people quite jealous and envious okay um damn they're showing me a lot of stuff and i just saw the ace of swords there's some truth coming in on this there's some truth coming in on this okay let's go ahead and get into the reading uh for those again who are unfamiliar with tarot or just new to my channel keep in mind these are very general readings um they're not going to be for everybody uh, messages come through for those who really need to hear them so if it's not your week it's not your week and that's okay <laughs> It's okay if it's not your week, all right? Someone else had to hear that message, and there are plenty of readers that are fabulous on YouTube. No need to send hate out if it doesn't resonate with your personal story, okay? Can't read for everybody at once. Also, guys, we are working with energy, and keep in mind, energy can be vice versa. So if it's resonating with you, but the roles are reversed, that's okay. It's still resonating for a reason. Just reverse the roles for, for you, okay? Um, also, guys, gender does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy, so don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Like I was saying, that feminine energy feels very soft, very cancerian. That could honestly be a guy. It could definitely be a guy, okay? If that resonates for your story, all right? Uh, what was anything else? Anything else? I feel like there's something else. I feel like there's something else that you guys should know going into this reading. No? No, nah, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what needed to be said all right guys let's go ahead and get into this any messages for aquarius regarding love august 22nd to the 31st wow god they're showing me a lot they just showed me the um for any of you who are familiar with the lenormand deck it's the mountain card they just show me the mountain card i might pull it out in a minute to show you but that's about obstacles and delays obstacles and delays oh that might also be the ruminating what the ruminating is about uh someone might be overthinking something too hard to the point where it's actually causing a delay or obstacle in a situation any messages for aquarius regarding love august 22nd to the 31st okay that feels good mm. Any messages for Aquarius? Oh my, Seven of Cups. A lot of people have been getting this actually. Scorpionic energy. I'm actually getting options with this. I'm getting options, 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 options. Uh, some of you could be dating. Some of you could be dating quite a bit here. It's almost like kid in a candy store energy. This is kind of fun. Um, yeah, I feel like someone's realizing they actually have a lot of options with what they can do. Like whether it's just they want to do for work or what they want to do in life for their next step or actual dating options. Like someone's looking at all their possible options and they're very happy about it. Very happy about it. Let's see here. I just heard use wisdom on that. For anybody who's resonating with that, use, use wisdom in here in regards to looking at your options. Any messages for Aquarius? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? I just heard which path, which path, which path. Don't let these options overwhelm you guys, okay? <laughs> Don't let these options overwhelm you. I feel like some of you guys quickly getting very overwhelmed by these options, whatever these options are. Wow, five of swords in reverse, Venus and Aquarian energy what seven of cups and the five of swords in reverse five of swords in reverse is like not playing games not fucking around with this yeah okay whatever these options are aqua or for the person that you're connecting with someone is not playing games with these options someone knows they have to be careful with what they're choosing here and what's in front of them they have to be very careful with what's in front of them i feel like there's a worry of illusion yeah there's a i want to say worry of a worry of illusion any messages for Aquarius? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st? Aqua, that's it? Oh, hoo hoo, ooh. Overall, Aqua, we have the Two of Cups in reverse. Can't Syrian energy, I just heard Scorpio. Can't Syrian energy, soulmate energy. Underneath that, we do have the King of Wands. Leo energy could also be air or fire. Oh boy. Aqua, meet your dragon. <laughs> Feminines, feminine energies, meet your dragon. Yeah, someone's sitting 
watching, can't stop watching, and is dying to take action. And I'm feeling a little bit of like jealousy. But like, you know, that masculine jealousy of like, who were they talking to? <laughs> who were they talking to? <laughs> Oh man, I feel I feel simmering. I, I like, uh, but my feminines be very careful here. But oh my god, by the way, Ace of Swords underneath that in reverse, in reverse. Yeah, this King of Wands, whoever this is, my feminine energies, they are watching with a very close eye. Which dragon energies or dragon people, like as an animal totem, tend to do. Okay, they're watching with a very close eye. They definitely feel like they're one. Of, they they feel they want me to tell you this very specifically. They feel that you are their soulmate. And I think they're right. I do think they're right. But Ace of Swords in reverse, like, I I don't know what's going on with this person, but it definitely feels like there's some simmering rage with that sword, that sword of truth here. That's what it is. They want to know what the truth is of what's going on with you. But it's weird. It's like they're not taking action, but a King of Wands does take action. So I feel like they're about to jump off their throne. Okay. I feel like they're about to jump off their throne. They have a lot of passion for you. I'm talking to my feminine energies. If I have any male Aquarians or masculine Aquarians watching here. Okay. Um, to my feminine energies, this dragon, they want to jump up out of their seat. They feel like they can't for whatever reason or another. They're feeling very stuck in that throne, but I think they're not going to be stuck for much longer, okay? They're sitting there. They're trying to gain clarity on the situation. They want to know what you're doing. They want to know what you're up to. They want to know everything is actually what I just heard. They want to know everything. I feel like this is the energy that's ruminating. They're ruminating on something, and I feel like it's the connection they have with you. The fact that it's in reverse tells me that there's a couple different groups here going on where this is someone you have a history with, where... There's been a bit of a, a severance of your situation and maybe you two are not, aren't really talking that much anymore. There's some kind of separation happening. Others, I'm almost getting like a delay in your connection. Like this, this dragon, it feels very, very confident that you're a very significant soulmate for them, but they're wondering if you're not aware of that. Yeah, they're wondering, they're wondering if like, yeah, they're like, maybe they're not aware. Maybe this feminine energy is not aware. So they're seeking their own clarity on the situation of what to do about this, how to feel about this, and everything that's going on with you. It feels, it feels very Snoopy too as well. It's like, it's such a strong energy. I like, I, I almost don't even want to put it down. It's almost like very commanding. This, this dragon, whoever this dragon is to you, they're, oh, this is interesting. They're telling me that some of you definitely know them but don't see them in this way yet it's almost very under the radar sometimes dragon people can be like that or dragon energy can be like that yeah for some of you where this there hasn't been a history a strong history yet they have kind of been in the wings under the radar but you know them for that for those in that group for those where there's a really 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 long history Something happened and this 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 dragon won't stop ruminating over what happened and gaining clarity in the situation, okay? So decide now which group you're in before we proceed. But it's like this, th see this energy is so commanding. It's like they, like I'm not even allowed to put him down. <laughs> like that's how commanding this energy is. And there's definitely a sense of simmering and they're about to go into boil mode, okay? They're about to go into boil mode. For those where there's a severance, like where you've had to know this person, you've been involved with this person and there was kind of a severance in your relationship, um, it's like they're simmering in rage out of pride too, out of pride. Okay. So be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. Let's go down here <laughs> to your two card reading, seven of cups and the five of swords in reverse. Yeah. My feminines, I feel like you have a lot of options in front of you when it comes to romance, even when it comes to just your life in general, it's, you're kind of like, Hmm, I have door one through seven. What door do I want to walk through in life and career? With whatever I want to do next or whoever I want to date next. And Five of Swords in Reverse, I definitely have this energy about you that, you know, you you know that you need to practice wisdom here. For some reason, you're feeling like whatever move you make next is going to affect a lot of things. And this king is watching you. This dragon is watching. This is kind of intense. All right, let's, this person's intense. This person's energy is very, very freaking intense, guys. I feel like he's looking at me. All right, <laughs> let's 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 go over the Seven of Cups here with the Rider Waite deck. Find out Seven of Cups. Find out the Seven of Cups for Aquarius regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. 
So I got the Seven of Cups. Ooh. <laughs> I'm getting steam. I just noticed that in the card, too. It was like, whoa, wait a minute. Uh, steam. Mm. Something steamy, Aqua. I feel like it's coming from this. Yeah, it's coming from this dragon. <laughs> Aqua's this dragon. Whether you... Do you hear that, too? Anyway. This dragon, to my, fem to my feminine energies, uh, this dragon has got some serious hots for you, okay? <laughs> serious hots for you. It's actually making me hot. That's ha been happening a lot with my air signs today. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups for Aquarius regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. I've got to unplug that thing. It's making me crazy. Tell me about the Seven of Cups for Aquarius. Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Yeah, seriously, all you air signs have made me hot today in one shape or another, in one form or another. Tell me about Seven of Cups, but this is definitely like sexy hot. This is definitely sexy hot. Tell me about Seven of Cups for Aquarius. Wow. Queen of Swords, Libra energy could also be um, air or water with the nine of swords gemini energy what did i say about that nine of swords energy someone's ruminating someone's ruminating over you while you're looking at your options feminines and the fact that they see the hell take that as confirmation um with this queen of swords energy that you're in this is how the dragon's looking at you feminines and it's funny because i was saying pure something about purity this is the only queen that's covered in white and or silver that kind of pure energy because you're pure, pure of thought you're pure of thought and you're very, very intuitive and you're very intelligent as well. Now, you're holding this sword of truth, which is, they're drawing me to that. To that. Well, this dragon's trying to find out what the truth is and looking at you and what you're doing and how to really gain clarity on, on the situation fully, which I find very interesting. There's something about you. It's almost like X factor. It's almost like an X factor. It's like, you hold a little puzzle piece that they can't find in anyone else. And they know that you have that puzzle piece and they want it. And that's why another, one of the other reasons they can't stop staring at you. But they're in a Nine of Swords energy about you, okay? They know that you are very serious right now. They know that you're not fucking around. They know that you know your worth and that you have a lot of options. And they're kind of freaking out about it, which is why they're simmering. They're simmering and it's a very kind of aggressive, a little brutish, feeling a little territorial about you. But it's almost like they know they don't have the right to be territorial about you. No claim. Thank you. No claim. I just heard they have no claim over you. Tell me about Seven of Cups. Tell me about Seven of Cups for Aquarius regarding love, August 22nd. King of Pentacles. Oh, oh, uh oh. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. I'm unplugging this. I'm sorry, it's making me nuts. Hi. Oh. oh my god. That's like that's like immediate relief. Oh, this this person's looking for immediate relief. I think that's why I felt so compelled to unplug it. It's like that drilling noise that they can't stand. Like the, they can't stand the thoughts anymore. They can't stand it. They can't stand it. Please give me relief. Please give me relief. Look at the stark differences in the, these kings here. Can you feel it? Like this one's like practically meditating. <laughs> very, very grounded, has all this greenery around him, feeling very abundant, very lush, very nurtured. This one, practically in a desert. And do you see the face? Oh, hold on. Do you see the face? And now fucking drum. Sorry, sorry guys. I like the noise, I can't stand noises. Anyway. So they want peace of mind. They want to be relieved of this. They don't want you to have your options. But plain and simple, they don't want you to have your options. They want to state, you know, claim you for themselves, but they feel like they don't have a right to claim you for whatever reason or another. Now, some, I believe, some of these dragons are also worried that you already have chosen an option out of the seven. <laughs> chosen an option out of the seven. And whatever option you're choosing, they know you're going to choose a king of pentacles. This is very indicative of a reading I did yesterday for one of the fire signs. Leo, that's what it was. Oh, and I guess that makes sense because that is your natural counterpart. <laughs> Sorry, Clyde is being too cute right now. Because that is your natural counterpart, Aquarius, is Leo. That's your natural seventh house. Just like Scorpio to Taurus, Aries to Libra, etc., etc., etc. They know that this is what you're going to pick. 
Some are worried you've already picked one. These dragons want to be that person, essentially. Someone who's grounded, someone who will provide, someone who is very rational as well, and someone that you know is up to your equal. Your equal, someone that you can rely on, someone who's loyal. Someone who's loyal. All right, let's see what else we got here. Talk about the Seven of Cups. They want major relief, Aqua. They want major relief, Feminines. Talk about Seven of Cups. For Aquarius regarding love wow that's a fat stack that just came out and I, I can feel it they want me to take it so I'll take it fly out the seven of cups for Aquarius look at this fat stack they want me to take it though so let's let's pull these babies Jesus let's pull these babies out okay we'll do two at a time Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy with the four swords, Libra energy. I definitely feel like this is your dragon here. This tells me that they've been they've been healing. They've been needing some work on themselves. That's probably also part of the reason they haven't jumped out of their throne yet to come in and claim you. They've been working on themselves. They've been self-reflecting on their behavior. Their behavior is an emperor in reverse, which is very honestly, it's just it's very controlling. It's very, very controlling. Again, a little greedy, a little greedy, a little dragony, but in a shadow energy, a shadow effect. Like someone who basically parades themselves around like they're big and bad, but they're just not. <laughs> they just don't have a leg to stand on. This is something that they're healing within themselves. Then we have, oh, wow. Wow. Six of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I'm hearing stubborn, man. Stubborn, missing opportunities, uh, acting out. I just heard acting out, lashing out. That Six of Swords in reverse is also someone who's like, I'm getting refused. Like, you can't make me move. You can't make me do something I don't want to do. Again, very dragony, very dragony. So let me hold all these up. If I, could, if I can, Jesus, it's a lot of cards. So your dragon my feminine energies, has been self-reflecting, trying to do some healing. They could have even actually gone to therapy. They could have gone to therapy. They could have even gone to rehab. Uh, but this is more about just taking a break, taking a break to try to figure shit out. It's like a mini hermit, a mini hermit energy. But look at this. Six of Swords in reverse, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They went into this little internal healing mode to look at all of this, to look at their stubborn ways, to look at their refusals, to look at their controlling behavior because they're realizing shit, that's how I'm missing an opportunity. That's what's causing me to miss an opportunity with this Queen of Swords. They know that. So some are taking the time to really do this, right? To sit on their throne in a Four of Swords energy to work on this, to heal this about themselves because they know that you need this. They know that you're only going to accept this. And some are afraid you've already chosen a King of Pentacles. That's not them. They want to be this King of Pentacles. Now let's go over here. Wow. Wow. Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy, Temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energy. So it's funny that we have Jupiter and Sag, Jupiter and Sag right here, because as we know, Jupiter went direct on the... Because oh. as we know, Jupiter went direct in Sag on the 11th. Um, Four of Cups, Cancerian energy, Nine of Wands in reverse, Sag energy, and Two of Cups. I heard not pleased with themselves. They're not pleased with themselves. Two of Cups, Cancerian energy, more of that soulmate energy here, right? So the wheels move forward. The wheels move forward. For them, they, it's, this is interesting. So my queens, your Wheel of Fortune has moved forward. The dragon's been stuck. They want to catch up to you, is what I'm getting. They want their wheel to move forward. But look at this energy, that Temperance in reverse and the Four of Cups. I mean, this is just like... This is someone who's not wanting to do the healing, right? This is someone who's not wanting to look at their own behavior, not take responsibility for their for their actions, not take responsibility for their actions. Some might also have a bit of a drinking problem. Some might also have a bit of a drinking problem. I'm just being drawn to the cups and temperance in reverse is overindulgence, usually associated with drinking or just, you know, overindulgence of vices to any, any extent. Like, I don't want to really look at that cup anymore. Oh, but man, look at those three cups in front of me. Oh, I got all this. I got all these cups in front of me. Oh, here, have more, have more, have more, right? A little bit of that kind of energy. Either way, that Nine of Wands in reverse, though, this is wanting to not be guarded anymore, not wanting to be guarded, wanting and wanting to kind of give up on this, give up on this instability, give up on 
again, I'm getting heavy drinking issue. I don't know why I'm getting that, but a heavy overindulgence issue, wanting to just do away with that because it's also enabled a lot of this behavior. A lot of this stubborn energy, I'm getting ego too, getting a little bit of that ego. Um, and I'm hearing surrender. They, they want this connection. They want you feminines. They love you. They do love you here, but they've clearly have some behavior that's very unstable, unstable, stubborn, a little egotistical coming from control issues. And they know they need to work on that, which is why they're in this four of swords energy. It's also very indicative of the fact that they've been separate from you, that there's distance between the two of you, but they want the wheel to move forward. Your wheel has already moved forward. Okay. Overall energy, three of wands. Aries energy, waiting. And also, again, more indicative of more distance. Yeah, waiting. Queens, my feminines, you might have been waiting for this dragon for a little bit, and then you, you stopped. You stopped. And it's almost like the tables turned. <sighs> Try not to hear that. And it's almost like the tables turned. So you could have been waiting for a while. You could have been waiting for quite a while. Waiting for them to come, waiting them for them to, to do something, and then you're like, ugh. I don't need to do that. I got options. I got options. And I'm going to go look at my options. And it's almost like the moment you did that, it put this dragon into waiting stance. Yeah, it put that dragon into waiting stance. Like, oh shit. <laughs> almost like a oh shit, right? Feeling like they don't have a right to claim you. But also there's a little bit of pride stopping them from coming in. But that pride is attached to their healing process. That that pride is attached to their um, introspective process. Yeah. Because it's pride that's really enabled a lot of these behaviors. Whether it was drinking, overindulgence, being stubborn. Like you're not going to make me do something I don't want to do. Right? You're not going to make me do something that wasn't my idea. That, that's really more what I'm getting. You're not going to make me do something that wasn't my initial idea. It's forcing them to really look at this stuff. And they know they got to get rid of it to be this king of pentacles for you. Okay. Let's look at the five of swords in reverse. Because like I said, feminine energy is my queens. You're not messing around. You're not messing around. You're not playing games. I think that's also why you started looking at your options. You're like, oh, you're going to put me on ice? No. <laughs> you're going to make me wait? Yeah, that shit ain't working. I'm not playing that game. So you can play that game by yourself. That's what some of you were saying. <laughs> that's what some of you definitely are saying. Um, but they also realize that in doing that you were respecting yourself you're respecting yourself and it's like okay i can sh and the, I'm, I'm like feeling this way like this was their inner dialogue like their inner thought process if they don't play the game i'm trying to play then then what can i do i think this person's used to playing games honestly to kind of get what they want it's almost like you checkmated them by no longer waiting and looking at your options you checkmated them and it's like shit i'm playing this game by myself well, that does nothing for me. <laughs> that does nothing but waste my time. This is a very interesting person you're dealing with, feminines. All right, so let's look at this Five of Swords in reverse. I'm going to use Gilded Tarot to clarify. <clears throat> Actually, let me get some water first. If I have any drummers watching, <laughs> I probably shouldn't comment on this, but I, I can't help myself. Um... I think that's really cool to play an instrument. I do. I think that's really cool. It is not easy to play instruments. If I got any drummers out there, that's really cool. You do that. I I just, I just, I don't know. Of all the instruments to choose, I like, <laughs> of all the instruments to choose to, to, you know, practice in an apartment building with very thin walls. I'm just saying. Tell me about Five of Swords in reverse. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. I guess I just had to vent to my aquas a little bit. I, I know you guys would understand. I have the Five of Swords in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Climb of Five of Swords in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Climb of Five of Swords in reverse for Aquarius regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Five of Swords Universe for Aquarius regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Okay. Tell me about this Five of Swords Universe. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Wow. Wow. Ho oh, ho. Feminines, are you ready? Wow. Look at this. 
Four of Swords, Libra energy. Ace of Wands with the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy. Could also be Air or Fire with the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This dragon's coming. This dragon's coming because queens, you're not, you're not messing around. You're not messing around. You're not playing the game and because you stopped playing the game and you took yourself on ice, turn the tables on them and they're like, oh shit. Now I'm playing a game that where no one will participate. That means I lose, <laughs> right? That four of swords with that ace of wands, that knight of swords and 10 of pentacles, they're coming in because they still got a lot of passion. That passion never went away. Like I said, they're watching and they're simmering. This dragon's watching and simmering and that 10 of pentacles, they, they really want to put a long-term thing on this. I'm hearing long-term, long-term. And they keep giving me words like claim too. I, I'm like, I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe some of my feminines don't like that word. I don't, I personally don't like that word, but they're tired of this break. They're really tired of this break. They're coming out of this break because they have passion for you. They have a lot of freaking passion for you. And they know that this is an amazing connection and they do have love for you. And this 10 of pentacles, they really want to provide. They want to be this king of pentacles for you. A king of pentacles always brings the 10 of pentacles. Always brings the 10 of pentacles, which is why they're trying to bring it in as a knight. But they're worried you've already chosen a new king. Some of you might have. Some of you really might have. Let's see here. Tell me if I have a swords in reverse. Tell me if I have a swords in reverse for Aquarius. That pure energy, it's very um. I know you got I know this is gonna like, you know, throw some people, but it's very like virgin like. It's very virgin energy. Yeah, I felt some of you go, ooh. I know, like, some of you guys don't really like that word. It's a strong word. Uh, so I have five of swords in reverse. But that is how, kind of how it feels. It's, like, very pure, but very motherly. And it's just, like, and this person, my feminines, you're very, very intuitive. You're very intuitive, and you're very spiritual and very intelligent as well. Wow, I'm landing on the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, my pre-empress card. So it's funny I was talking about virgins. I get the Virgo card. Yeah, see, look at this. They know you're not messing around. They want to take you from a nine of pentacles to a ten of pentacles. They essentially want to put a ring on it. Nine of pentacles is a is a single energy. It's the bachelor, bachelorette. I'm independent. I'm I'm abundant. All on my own. I don't need nobody. But I will happily look at my options, right? And they're coming in to talk and be like, no, no, no. We're having the ten. <laughs> you're not gonna have this by yourself. We're gonna have the ten. Overall energy. Two of pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. Feminines, I don't think you're going to know what to do about this. I feel a little bit of struggling to decide. I feel a little bit of struggling to decide on your part as this person comes in here. But they've already decided. Actually, they decided a long time ago that they want this with you. But they've been too busy in this separation mode looking at their own shit, right? Looking at their own shit and surrendering to what this connection is. And all the while still looking at clarity, still trying to seek out all clarity they possibly can. Again, that ruminating, 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 ruminating on everything that's happened in their little dragony state here. Yeah, they wanna come out of that. They really wanna come out of that. But they decided a long time ago. They decided a long time ago. Underneath the Two of Pentacles universe, we do have the Ten of Swords. Gemini energy, oh, and look, more twos. Two of Swords, Libra energy. Yeah. They want to put an end to this. They want to put an end to this little separation. They want to put an end to any confusion. They're gaining their clarity. And I think once they have it fully or just can't stand the fact that you have options or just get to the point where they're like, if I don't act now, they're going to choose a King of Pentacles and I need to act. Right. And then they're going to put you in decision mode and feminines. I think you're going to struggle with that. I think you're really going to struggle with it. OK, let's get some advice. Any advice for my aquas? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Any advice for my aquas? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? I just realized I wanted to name this the Virgin and the Dragon, but I can't because the way YouTube works, I can't even name it that. Um, I have to be creative with that one. Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Grasshopper spirit. Take the leap of faith. 30, breaking down to a three. Queens, you do whatever you want to do, okay? <laughs> you do whatever you want to do. You are the masters of your own life. This is just an opportunity. You don't have to take the advice, but this is spirit's advice to basically give it a shot. Take that leap of faith to give it a shot with them, okay? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have lion spirit. Be generous of spirit. 37, which is a cyclical energy. Antelope spirit. Wow. Life is speeding up with the energy of two. Frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. Another cyclical energy. Then we end with lizard spirit. Dream the world into being. 38, breaking down to an 11. You got some serious numbers here, guys. Two cyclical energies, a, a divine master number here with the energy of 11, and then you have two and three progression energy, things moving forward, being generous of spirit. I feel like these are my virgins, not like, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, but like these are actually like my queens. It's like, ugh, it's just very quiet. It's very pure. I just feel something that even though this is typically a masculine energy, it actually feels very feminine to me right now. Very feminine to me and just very beautiful, actually. Just very beautiful, very regal, very regal and very generous and compassionate. Yeah, I'm feeling that nurturing energy, very nurturing energy. And then with life is speeding up, this is the run. This is, oh, the run and the chase, the run and the chase. Ooh, feminines, you might run from this, okay? <laughs> You might be tempted to run from this, okay? And I do have this energy that for some of you who have a very long history with this dragon, they ran from you. That they actually ran from you. Oh yeah, thank you. This is exactly what's going on here. It's basically saying that for those in that scenario where this connection had been severed in the past with this dragon, and now this dragon just can't stop, you know, thinking about you, can't stop thinking about what happened, they ran. They ran, and the advice is to purge that wound Purge that, heal that, and start manifesting what you want with this person or without this person. That's definitely the advice here. Just purge whatever happened. Purge whatever dynamics have happened between the two of you. Also, this is advice for the dragon as well. To recognize the compassion of this queen, which I think they're already doing. I think, yeah, I think these dragons are already recognizing that. But also recognizing why you acted the way you did, dragons. Dragons, talking about dragons. Why you acted the way you did, whatever wounds caused you to be that way, whatever wounds caused you to be stubborn, refusing, some of you who might have some addiction problems or alcohol problems, um, and just a little egotistical issue, why you did that, why you did that, and to purge that, to purge that, to really ma manifest this and make it come to fruition here. Overall, well, <laughs> skunk spirit, know your worth, 54, breaking down to a nine, and then we have... Sing your own song with the canary spirit, 12 breaking down to a three. I really feel like this is speaking your value and not just that, but also speaking what you feel you deserve. This is advice for both. This is advice for both. This is to be completely honest, to speak complete truth of what you feel on both parties about your value, about your value, what you expect, what you deserve, what you're only going to accept from here on out. It's advice for both. Because I feel like this, this dragon... I feel like this dragon's held a lot back to the feminines here. This dragon's uh, uh, fed, held, held a lot back from these feminine energies for those who have a very long history here where that was like there was a severance. A lot of truth needs to be spoken here. A lot of truth needs to be spoken here because queens, you deserve the truth from them just like they deserve full clarity of the situation and this connection, okay? I feel like for some of you, there was a major misunderstanding that really just needs to be cleared up. And so in that case, just be careful with your words. Be careful with your words here, okay? Ooh, aquas. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope it was insightful and helpful. Uh, don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Have a good night, aquas. Namaste.